Thanks for coming back to the Pipe Squatch channel and today I'm going to give you a little update on the quick hitter I had about the rat rays fail question mark. I wanted to make sure I had the question mark there so I didn't look like I was bashing rat rays, which I wasn't. Also, I want to give a couple shout outs to a couple people. I'm going to put their links below. They were very kind to give me shout outs on their channel and I felt honored and I wanted to return the favor in kind. Is that what I'm supposed to say? Return the favor in kind? Anyways, I'm going to return the favor and I'll talk about them here in a minute. Also, I want to thank everybody out there who has watched my videos over the last three weeks to a month, however long it's been. I've hit 100 subscribers. That's faster than I've hit 100 subscribers on the other two channels I was involved with. And this community has got to be the most amazing community social media wise I've ever been around. Everybody talks about each other. They're not afraid to talk about other channels. Uh, people are constantly commenting. There's, there's not this fear of, oh, well, if I associate myself with that person, then so-and-so and so-and-so -and -so is, is going to think this about me. It's just, hey, we all love smoking a pipe. And we all love this hobby that we have. And because we're like-minded, we can put some of the differences aside if there are differences. And I love that about this community. So thank you, everybody. Everybody out there that has subscribed. 100 subscribers as quick as I had. I'm pretty pumped about it. First, I want to talk about the rat rays issue I had. And as you can see, very light, enjoyable draws. Unlike the other day when I was telling you about it. If you hadn't seen that video, I was having some trouble. It was, felt like I was sucking through a, uh, a milkshake straw. Couldn't get a whole lot. I had cleaned it with pipe cleaners. Uh, done a lot of stuff. Like I said, I did reach out to Rat Rays, and within, they're six hours ahead of us, I think. And so within probably eight to ten hours, it was the next morning when I woke up, I received this email. I'm going to read it to you because uh, it's amazing. As some of you may know, Rat Rays is owned by COP, GmbH and Company, KG, in Offenbach, Germany. Rat Rays is still a Irish company, though. Irish or Scots? Irish. He says, Dear Mr. Stout, thank you for your... E oh, let me rewind. I guess I should tell you what I emailed them. Basically, I just said what the issue was. I let them know I did a video review of it. I did not bash them in any way, shape, or form. As I understand, there could have been an issue with a one-off. Maybe this was a fluke, what have you. Um, just wanted to see what their take was on it. If it was a known issue that they had. Blah, blah, blah. Very professional, very kind. Very complimentary of their company. He comes back with, Dear Mr. Stout, thank you for your email. I'm sorry about your experience. So far, we've had no complaints about the draw on this line. All right, so there's not a known issue. If you use charcoal filter, you could change to a Savinelli filter. Well, I don't use filters, so that's another thing. We kind of zeroed that out, which this changes a lot, which he's, he's right about that. Or alternatively, and this is where it's awesome, send us the pipe and we'll drill the air hole and a mouthpiece once again with a drill that is 0.5 to 1 millimeter wider. This may be the solution if the other doesn't work. Best regards, Oliver Kopp, K-O-P-P, the company that oversees, I'm assuming, Rat Race. He reached out to me. He doesn't know me. That's amazing. That's one of the other things I love about this community. Every company I've dealt with so far has had the best customer service. I thought about doing that, but also somebody that, that comments on every one of my videos that it, once again, it's an honor that, and I guess I'm doing three shout outs in this video. Steven Waters, I'll put his link down below too. He comments in all my videos. He made the comment, return it where you bought it and get them to fix it. But then he said one pipe I had, the stem hadn't been drilled properly. It was blocked and had something like a wall with a small drill hole. I was able to make the hole bigger by inserting a hook and destroying part of the obstruction. So then I thought, okay, yeah, I did clean it out with a pipe cleaner, but it would kind of get stuck and I'd kind of have to maneuver it and wiggle it about at the bend, a little bit past the bend. So I thought, okay, well, it's just the bend that's catching it and I just got to get it down a little bit. So I got one of these wire pipe brushes. Uh, they're a little bit stiffer and I really got it in there and I was going and it hit in the same place. I really, really started popping that little place, not trying to get around it and go past. I just kept hitting that little jar. Sure enough, just like Steven said, 
out pops this little black piece. I couldn't tell if it was plastic left over from the drilling, maybe something that happened in shipping, whatever. And when I did, guess what happened? All of a sudden, I had a smooth smoking rat raised pipe. So this may not have even been a factory thing. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. Could have been a packaging thing. Could have just been some little, you know, foreign object that got lodged in there at some point. But it is back to a rat raise that I hoped it would be. So I've continued to do the break-in process. I'll show a picture of that right here. Maybe. I'm going to finish this bowl first. All right, I'm going to try to get a video so you can see the cake starting to build up in there. So that's kind of a good build up. I wanted to give this example too. This is a Wally Frank I got in an estate sale. Um, that's a lot of cake. That's just really funky. And this is going to be an exciting reaming out of this pipe. Ooh. Yeah. That's a little much for my liking. Good cake buildup. It's, it's smoking smooth. I, I'm so glad that we, Rat Rays reached out to me. They were very kind. They offered more than I asked for. I just wanted to see if they knew anything about it. And one of my favorite looking pipes is probably going to end up being one of my favorite pipes. It's breaking in great. It's smoking great. I'm just really excited. So Rat Rays, thank you. Uh, thank you for an awesome pipe. Thank you for reaching out. Thank you for your awesome service. Stephen Waters, thank you for that suggestion because it made me think and then I tried a little something different, got that little piece out. Yeah, great smoking pipe. So now to the shout outs. Two shout outs I want to make. One is to Redbriar and I'm going to put his link down below. He gave me a great shout out, great compliments. I actually bought a pipe from him that I'm about to do a review on probably in my next video. Really cool Morgan Bones pipe. Just Awesome guy, another one of those channels that you can just sit there and listen to him talk and then you're like, oh crap, I just spent 30 minutes watching his channel. And then there's another one called uh, The Face of Baby Huey or a Face Baby Huey or I'm just kidding. He called me Piper Squatch, so I'm just paying him back. If we can't bust chops, we're really not friends. No, but Baby Face Huey, go check out his channel too. Links down below. He had some awesome things to say too. I, I, I thank everybody that's gotten me to 100 subscribers and I, I'm just really thankful in this video. So I am going to see you later and just remember to keep your pipes loaded, slow down, philosophize, and enjoy your life.